Hey, what's going on folks? This is Keith and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the fuel filter on a General Motors vehicle. Uh, this particular fuel filter right here fits on a myriad of General Motors vehicles. Um, I, I really don't know all the makes and models that this fuel filter fits on, but there's a ton. It's probably anywhere between 1995 to 2005 that this fuel filter is used on uh, many, many General Motors vehicles there. So this will help a lot of people and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, before you go to take your fuel filter off, go ahead and access your fuse panel and locate your fuel pump relay. Take the fuel pump relay out, crank the vehicle. If it starts and runs, let it run until it dies. If it doesn't run, crank it for about 10 seconds. What you're doing is you're relieving any fuel pressure that might be built up inside the fuel system. That'll make it so there's less pressure inside the fuel filter and not as much gasoline will spew out when you take the fuel filter off. All right, now typically the fuel filter is going to be located somewhere up underneath the vehicle uh, near the gas tank. Sometimes it's further up, maybe up underneath the, uh, the driver's seat or up underneath the, the back seat. Um, so you just want to follow your fuel line and you should be able to find where the fuel filter is at. Now this one is located just up underneath the driver's side back seat next to the, uh, the EVAP canister. And as you can see, I've got a little rust on mine, and you might have some rust on yours too. I went ahead and shot some uh, penetrating oil on it, let it sit for about 30 minutes. Now, I don't know if that's going to make a difference or not, but let's go ahead and get into it. Now, the nut on the fuel filter is three quarter, and the nut on the fuel line is five eighths. 16 millimeters the same too by the way and yeah as I suspected that nut on the fuel line is not moving so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to spin the fuel filter off the nut and it works that way and it's okay to do it this way because the uh, fuel filter spins inside this fitting right here so it's not really bolted in it's, it's got a, a little line that slips right over it so this will spin rather easily. All right, guys. Hey, I just want to break in right here uh, just for a second and explain something and make something very clear. Uh, when I say that it's okay for this fuel filter to spin on this line, what I'm re referring to is it's okay to uh, spin the filter inside of the black nylon line. It's not okay that my nut on my metal line is, is uh, locked into place and it's all rusted out like that. Um, really that line needs to be replaced. I do not recommend reusing a line that looks like this. Um, the whole purpose of this video is basically to show you how to replace your fuel filter, not how to take care of a rusted line. So I just made this video for that sole purpose there. Uh, this Pontiac Bonneville actually sat in my yard for years and I made videos on it. Uh, so I, I wasn't putting money into it and you can see that I'm not even replacing the, the fuel filter. I'm just going through the motions showing you how to replace the fuel filter. Um, the only difference uh, if your line is not rusted out like that is your nut will spin instead of the fuel filter spinning off of the uh, metal line there. So just want to clarify that and here's the rest of the video. I really should replace this fuel line here, but I'm not going to. All right, now watch out. You always want to wear safety glasses because uh, gasoline will come out. Have you a catch pan up under this to uh, catch this fuel? And I should be wearing nitrile gloves. Uh, I usually do, but I'm out. Uh, I would suggest that you wear nitrile gloves. Also have a fire extinguisher handy and maybe a partner handy to help you if anything goes bad. Keep all sources of flame and ignition away from this as you know fuel is uh, flammable and you can ignite it. So watch out. Now the other end of this fuel filter here you can see you got these this little clip and what we're going to do is we're just going to pinch that clip in like that and then pull out of the line pull the fuel filter right out here's a, a close-up of that clip there I just pushed in on it pulled right out just like that now this clip right here you're probably gonna have to transfer it to your new fuel filter and it comes off rather easily just take you a flat tip screwdriver and you're gonna stick it up underneath this part of the clip here and you're gonna work it over that rib on the uh, shaft there just pull it right off 
just like so and that goes on your new fuel filter and by the way as you know I don't have a new fuel filter I'm just showing you guys how to do this but uh, put that on your new fuel filter if you get if your new fuel filter comes with a new clip use the new clip by all means as for this end uh, where the metal line screws into the fuel filter there you can see you got a little o-ring um, usually you just take your thumbnail and pull that o-ring right off and you should get a new o-ring with your new fuel fuel filter I would suggest replacing that o-ring okay installation is just reverse procedure I'm just gonna snap this onto the nylon line there first set that up into place and then I'm gonna screw it on by hand because my nut is seized up on the line there All right, let's go ahead and tighten this down Good and snug there now once you got the fuel filter tightened up and installed correctly you want to make sure it's not leaking and the way that I do that is I usually cycle the key on and off a few times and then look up underneath and check to make sure nothing's leaking uh, if you determine that it's not leaking after cycling the key on and off a few times then go ahead and crank the vehicle let the vehicle run and then check for leaks again of course if you have a leak you'll need to repair it before you can proceed well guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Just uh, comment below there. I'll be happy to get back to you. Also, please read the entire description of this video before you attempt this. There'll be more safety information in there, more disclaimer information. And uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching.